San Diego 6 News in the Morning. Your station for balanced news. Well, this could quite possibly be the scariest movie you will see in a long time. That's the way uh, some of our co-workers here this morning describe it. And just by looking at the trailer alone of paranormal activity, you may be on the edge of your seat. Take a look. I def camera on my girlfriend, Katie. She thinks there's something in the house. I don't know. You believe me, right? I think we're going to have a very interesting time capturing whatever paranormal phenomena is occurring or is not occurring. Windows are locked. Doors are locked. The alarm is on. Hearing a weird sound. Something's here. I feel it breathing on me. There's footsteps in, but there's no footsteps out. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Well, this is a movie from Paramount Pictures that is playing at most theaters near you, mostly at midnight, the showings. And it's actually set in a San Diego suburb, and it was filmed here. This movie cost just 15000 to make and was released only by how much demand was in each city. And here to talk about that and paranormal activity in San Diego is Bonnie Vent. She is a medium or spirit advocate, I should say. So thanks for coming in this morning. Oh, good morning. Yeah, so this uh, you have not seen this. You've seen the trailer, but you've heard a lot about it. Uh, I've, I have seen some things in real life that are very similar to what this is. But it, it is a movie, it is for entertainment purposes, so you need to keep that in mind. Of course, so it doesn't have to be as terrifying as it is portrayed in this, uh, in this type of film. Absolutely. Now this movie, just to talk about it, it looks a little bit like the Blair Witch Project. It kind of reminded uh, some of us of that, and it's kind of loosely based on a true story here in San Diego? Well, I gather it, it the person who, the director of this, actually thought that there might be something going on, and so he decided to set up a camera, and then he got the idea of, you know, hey, wow, this would be a really good suspense thriller kind of movie. Right, and it can be seen pretty much everywhere. Uh, people had to demand it in each city. They'd have to have a million people demand it, and then it would be shown. It had such a great review in terms of people liking it that now it's you can find it anywhere so it's at theaters all over the place um, so talk about being a, a spirit advocate what is that like how did you get into this well in, in my case I was actually born with psychic abilities and I'm clairvoyant clairaudient so I see and hear and speak to dead people if you want to put it that way uh, so in a sense I actually represent them it's rather like the the show Ghost Whisperer where the spirit person comes to me looking for assistance and to communicate messages out either mass messages for everyone or a personal message for a family member what can you tell us that uh, maybe uh, a bit of a frightening experience maybe in line with the movie what's a story can you tell us that's happened here in San Diego well, there, there's some really common things, you know, we all know about Whaley House and, you know, in the movie, you know, people get touched and uh, you can have that happen at Whaley House also. There's a little girl there that will try and take your hand and it's really not a terrifying thing. It's actually just kind of a, an energy, little tingly feeling that you get in your hand. And so, yes, is, is that true that you can be touched by a spirit person? It's absolutely true. Do, you think do, they, do they always want to terrify you in the middle of the night while you're asleep? No, that's... <laughs> do you think more people are susceptible to it than others? seem to be and there again you're filtering it through your own thoughts and so if you've read up on demons you're gonna think it's a demon when it's really just you know a regular spirit person and and so people do tend to some people overreact and then other people who are skeptics you know they could come up and you know tweak you on the nose and just, ah there was nothing there now will you go out and see this movie do you think and, and you may have a completely different reaction than most of us in the theater <laughs> Well, for, for me, I, I rather get involved with, with the real things, and, and so that's, that's kind of the realm that I'm in. And mm -hmm. uh, it, it's, it's interesting because I work with this stuff on a day-to-day -day basis, but horror movies actually can be very terrifying even to someone like me because, you know, things are jumping out at you, and, and so I kind of stay away from that, actually. All right. and, and the, you know, the fake haunted houses that they set Where up they at Halloween out, yeah. time. You know, the, the energy around those houses, you know, everybody is terrified that's waiting in line, and I can feel that energy. Mm -hmm. So I tend to stay away from that because it is kind of scary. Yeah, it is. Well, I thank you for coming in and talking about it. And uh, this is a movie that, uh, when you think about something happening to you when you, was, when you sleep, that, that scares me. But a lot of people love that, and it's close, close to Halloween. So, hey, thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> All right. Go to SanDiego6.com and click on Hot Topics for more information. San Diego 6 News in the Morning.
your station for balanced news.